So this is just clear water, not too much, just, just a quick lubrication so it stretches evenly and then I'm just going raw sienna, just a little bit here and there just to have a bit of, bit of colour to the, to the thing. Clean the brush and then let's go, take the excess off. And so a bit of ultramarine, maybe a touch of Payne's grey as well just to liven it up a bit. And then just brushing that in, something like that, down the bottom. Clean the brush, take the excess off. Let's have a bit of alizarin crimson, Payne's grey, not too much water because the paper's already wet so you can't compensate that by having less on the brush. And then just a little bit of, bit of nice colour cloud here and there. Um, even take a bit of tissue. In fact, is that too strong? I don't know. It's, it's just experiments. I'm just going to go in now with this brush and just brush it around a little bit. A few little clouds. Now the mountains are going to be up there somewhere, so I might just stick a bit of cloud there so the profile of the mountain stands out a bit better. Something like that, a bit more up there. That'll do. Now I haven't put much water on the paper, so I ain't going to bother drying it. I'm just, I'm just looking to see how wet it is by looking at it along there. And it's quite dry, especially when I've took the uh, paint off with the tissue. One of the advantages is you don't have to wait. I'm going into all the sky colours, a bit of everything. And let's put some distant ones in, sort of over there and coming down there like that and then up there, just vary it a little bit, a bit more raw sienna. And there, a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of green growing on the side of the mountains, a bit more green. I haven't bothered cleaning the brush yet, as you can see, a little bit darker. More ultramarine in it. I'm trying to only paint over the same bit of paper once so I don't disturb any of the paints I've already put down in the mountains anyway. Um, there's, you can just see a bit of water down. I'm just coming down to the water's edge and then just leaving a. Just trying to leave a gap there then. Something like that. And we've got water there, but then there's going to be a few trees in front of that. Now let's put some trees in up here. So I'm just going to, I haven't cleaned the brush yet. Got lemon yellow, Payne's grey, nice strong tree colour. Now I'm just going to use the corner. In fact, I might just dry that first because it'll come out better. That's first. Paper stretched slightly, so I'm just going to pull it flat and then refix it. They just stop being so it's not so springy. Yeah. That's all it needs. And then I've got just enough water on the brush just to keep all the airs together. Lemon yellow, pine's grey. Then there's a just using the corner. You see how strong now because I dried it. Look how strong it's coming out against that background. Up there, something like that. It stops about there. And there's just a few in front of these. This is going to be a bit of water there. So I'm just putting a few trees, and this is going to up and down, up and down, vary the heights as you go along. Clean the brush. Take the excess off on the tea towel. And then let's have some raw sienna. Just push up to the bottom of those trees and then just bring it down. A bit of lemon yellow as well. A bit of green in there. Maybe a touch of burnt umber. Sweep that across. A bit more lemon yellow. Quick sweep across like that. Yeah, a bit of ultramarine. 
just constantly trying to bear it, see, see. And we've got a few more little tr trees, little bushes, whatever they are. They must be bushes because these are slightly smaller. And these, and you see, because the paper's wet, it's softening up, it's not coming out as strong as it was there when it was dry, but I, I ain't really bothered about that. Let's just make it nice and small, something like that. Yeah, and I'm cleaning the brush because I'm going back to light colours. It's always light to dark with watercolours. What I might do now is there's a path coming round there. So, light red. You can choose any colour for your path really. You can give it the same colours as the sky. For this one I'm just giving light red, ultramarine. And then the path is going off round those bushes somewhere. So if I just sort of squiggle it round like that. See how nice and bendy it is. Put it a bit too thick there, they're meant to make it a bit narrow, so I might go over that with some grass. Oop, bit of water coming down the page there. Just going over the edge of that with the grass, just trying to make it a bit narrow, I've come down too far, but never mind. Push that up to the path. Burnt umber, lemon yellow, ultramarine, just bringing it up to the path. Same on the other side, quick sweep across. Raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine. Right down to the bottom, let's get some oil, ultramarine, lemon yellow bits down there. Push that up to the path. And you see, because I haven't used much water, I can just bash it straight in. I ain't got to mess about waiting for it to dry and all this palaver. Put a bit of a, a few sort of grasses and stuff there. Then on back, ultramarine. It's a, it's a grasses. A few more on the other side. Obviously they get smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance. So these foreground ones are going to be nice and big. Do it with this. Use the wiggle. You can just flick a few up like that with your nail. You can put a few rocks in. So if we just darken the edge of the paths, come right up to it. Darken the edges. Something like that. You can take your bit of card and you sort of just take the sharp end of it and then just sort of Twist it round like that and scrape in some rocks. Only a few more down there. Don't want to overdo it. It'll sort of ruin the effect. As with everything, just keep it subtle. Um, just needs a little bit of focal point, so I'll just stick a little figure walking off into the distance, I think. Well, that's dry. Um, all that was the rear the hike brush. I mean, the hike will do virtually everything. Um, I'm just going to switch to the rigger now just to put a little figure in. Uh, just working out where to put them, I'll just put him about there. So, just a sort of little darkish mix, just so he stands out. Let's just start off with his head there and then body. Have a bit of light red. And then switch over to the blue. Want some, some legs there. Little backpack. And then like a little walking stick. Um, a little shadow coming off in there. Uh, and I might just call that one, call that one done. So all that remains, all that remains is copy signature in the corner. And then 
Let's see what it looks like with the main sun. I always look better with the main sun. So there's our painting with the mountain inside. Let's go in and have a closer look at it. As usual, started with the sky. We got a bit of raw sienna, lizarding, um crimson and pines grey clouds. Got ultramarine, the blue bit there between the clouds. And then the same colours with the tops of the mountains. Try to vary it. Hit and miss with the profile. It helps create that sort of misty look. And then coming further down, this is where, you know, that's that's like water that's meant to be there. I might have made that a bit more blue, but not to worry. Down the bottom of the mountains. And then you can see why I dried it. And then put these tree lining so it stood out, much stronger tone. Bringing it further forward, pushes the mountains further back. And that continued all the way. See some nice contrast here, the sort of light of the water against the dark of the trees. All the way along. See the difference here. It was similar paint on the brush, but look how much uh, lighter it comes out when the paint's still wet, wet on wet as opposed to wet on dry. Try to just vary the different colours and shades as I've come down the page. Keep it interesting. A few flicks of the nail leaves, quite a few grasses. Same on the other side. All the way down to the bottom. Down there, a few. Made it darker along the path just to scrape a few rocks in using the card. Nice windy little path leading up to our uh, little hiker there with his walking stick. Well thanks for watching, keep practicing. This as well as all the other paintings I do you'll be able to find in my eBay store if you'd like to bid on them, it's entirely up to you. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.